Are you planning on traveling to Costa Rica and in need of inspiration on what to do in La Fortuna and Monteverde? Look no further. Here's everything we did while traveling in Costa Rica on a group tour. I'm a Welcome to a new vlog. If you don't know me, my name is Jasmine Angelique. I'm a solo female traveler from Germany and in today's vlog I'm not traveling solo. I'm actually traveling with my bestie on a group trip with two travels in Costa Rica and we're right now in La Fortuna um, which is the area where El Arenal is and yesterday we arrived uh, from a homestay experience. I will leave this vlog here um, so you can click on it if you're interested uh, in it and uh, yeah basically yesterday we arrived we uh, did some exploring and then we went to the hot springs which I'm going to show you some footage now. Before we went to the hot springs, we had lunch in town and also went to this waterfall where we hang out for a bit. The visit to the Bali hot springs was included in our group tour, but usually the entrance is 36 US dollars. La Fortuna has several hot springs, both natural and like the Bali hot springs that are more like a water park. If you are in La Fortuna, I'd say do both and I can recommend the Bali Hot Springs for the more unnatural experience. Yeah, that was yesterday and today we're actually having a free day so it's like for optional activities. Most of them are pretty action-based and I'm not that action-based, honestly. I'm not into white, white uh, water rafting and everything. So um, yeah, basically we skipped that. But we're gonna go to a waterfall which is so nice. Um, and we're gonna go to the La Fortuna waterfall, really excited for that. And afterwards we're gonna meet up with the group again and I'm really excited for that. So yeah, let's beginning of the entrance it was 18 uh, US dollars um, for the waterfall and then we paid like almost like two um, yeah two euros um, for like the uber so not that expensive <laughs> After the waterfall, we later met up with the group for an optional hike in the El Arenal National Park. Unfortunately, it was raining and we saw literally nothing. Then we went to some natural hot springs, which was super nice, and had drinks and dinner later in town. The next morning, we went on a long trip to Monteverde. We took two buses and a boat, but though it was long, it was absolutely beautiful, the views were amazing, and I really enjoyed the road trip. In the afternoon, after we arrived in Monteverde, we went to the Cloud Forest. It was an optional tour with our tour guide and though it rained again, it was absolutely beautiful. In my opinion, it is a must visit when in Costa Rica. Also a little tip, don't miss the hummingbird garden next to the entrance slash exit of the forest. It was so cool seeing hummingbirds that up close. Welcome 
welcome to the second day of Monteverde. Today we're actually doing a zipline tour. I'm so excited. I always wanted to zipline. It's been my dream for like years now. And doing that in Costa Rica in the land of ziplining on one of the longest ziplines in the world, the longest one in Latin America. I'm so excited. I might be doing actually the Tatsan swing as well. Not really sure if I'm able to do that. Um, but um, yeah, if I if I'm if I'm going through with it, like I'm gonna be proud of myself. But let's see about that. So yeah, let's do something. So I gotta be honest with you guys. Though I had said, and I've said that for years. Zip lining is a dream of mine. Zip lining was on my bucket list, and especially in Costa Rica. I have to say, I did not enjoy it. It just wasn't my thing, and I realized once again I'm just not an action based person. But that is just me. I mean, I tried it, and it's not for me, but maybe you are different and you will enjoy it. My friends definitely did, and they really liked it, so um, I don't want to hate on the experience. It's just not for me. But after zip lining, we went to have breakfast at this beautiful cafe slash restaurant that reminded me a lot about Bali. And yeah, after that, we went to the butterfly garden. Um, to be honest, the entrance was 18 US dollars, which included a tour you need to do. Um, well, it was a great experience in general. It felt more like a zoo, to be honest. And personally, I think it was a bit overpriced for what you get. but. You know, that's Costa Rica, it's always expensive. So um, yeah, you have to decide for yourself whether you want to spend that money or not. In the evening, we went to have some drinks before dinner at this really cool tree bar right in town. I highly recommend going there. It was such a cool atmosphere. I just don't remember the name, but it's very easy to find one that is not big. So if you're in town, definitely check that bar out. So guys, I think we're gonna end the Monteverde and La Fortuna vlog for now. Um, we are currently in Santa Teresa at the beach in the Pacific Ocean, it's so nice. We're staying in a beautiful hostel that I always wanted to stay in. Um, and yeah, I see you guys in the next vlog. Be excited, bye.